Well, good luck. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. And <laughs> welcome to Chinwag number 160, um, which is the first chat Friday chat since Christmas. Christmas has been and gone, which is great, yeah. I suppose. It's it's done. Um, how do you feel about that? I'm pretty okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with that as well. It, I'm glad it's done and dusted, um, and we can get back to um, doing our thing. Because it feels yeah. a bit weird, doesn't it? Because it's been a while since I've done. Well, it feels like it's been ages since we've done a live stream. When was we the were last here time? On Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Wow, that's at least three days ago. <laughs> you know, I, I I felt like it was something wrong. You know? <laughs> so yeah, it feels good to be back. Yeah. Um, and, and doing another it stream it's been too long so we'll say a few hellos um, yeah. thank you for everyone that's joining us on this Friday evening it's, it is Chinwag number 160 we do have a mm -hmm. title back to business you know um, and uh, yeah we're going to have a little mini haul we picked up some items today which we'll share with you uh, we'll go through our sales as usual as well and then also in the title I've written all you man are my youngest bruv and that is just because I wanted to write that in the title. Um, no, it's, it's not. It's because of Stormzy. It's, I, well, it's because of that, but it's because there's no real reason for it to be in the title other than yeah. I wanted to put it in the title because well, I've been listening to a lot of Stormzy. The other alternative was another song that Zahir is quite into at the moment, and that wasn't appropriate. Yeah. So. There's this guy. <laughs> this, called, this was a good one. There's a guy called, <laughs> uh, it's called like a hot girl bummer anthem or something. Yeah. I don't know, um, like and it just, it's like, you know, it's a really catchy song, it, yeah. by, by a gentleman called Black Bear, um, yeah. I suggest you I mean, check it out. I think it's, you should all go and yeah. check that song out. He's wearing, if, for those of you that are clothes fans out there and high-end fashion brands, he's very, wearing like a pretty swanky vetements hoodie, mm -hmm. um, or vetement hoodie. Yeah. Uh, which just says hoodie and on the back it has a dictionary definition there is someone also ripping mm -hmm. that off um, and on um, what's it called on Etsy um, we've had a super chat already thank you Tommy mm, thank you, I do Tommy. appreciate it Tommy Bernard has just super stickered $2.99 with a fist bump uh, thank you for thank that you. Tommy I appreciate it we'll go in and say a few hellos we haven't yes. said any hellos yet so um, we've got tea cakes in the chat Hi. hello tea, cake, tea cakes Stephen Bennett Pleasant Valley picker, Pleasant Valley. We have had an email from you, yes, and we feel humbled and privileged to know your name. And but we won't I say. I will it. be replying yeah. to you. I just want to take my time in replying yeah. to you because yeah, it we a good we reply. we have Pleasant Valley's real name. So thank you, yes. Pleasant Valley. Uh, Michelle Lathan, uniquely me, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Um, by the way, Tracy is going to be live tomorrow, I believe. Tonight. 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 It's tonight our time. Tonight I think. our time is it? Is it okay? I don't know. It is. No, it is. Tracy, Uniquely Me, is going to be live with Mel from Back From Burnout. So definitely check that out. She's doing a, a Chats With Chicks, as she calls it. Yes. Um, so definitely uh, keep I'm an sure eye out for that. it works out 11 o'clock our it? time. I don't know what the timings are like. They're so complicated. Um, we've got a couple of pickers as well. Hi, a couple of pickers. These guys are just amazing. Um, honestly, you can have some chats with those guys. Trust me. Um <laughs> We've also got um, Watcher 1421, Stu Mandry, Dave, thanks for popping in. Uh, Dave says, shame I had to leave ads. You don't have no, to you leave don't have ads. To. You, you don't go, have to leave you ads. You can go and watch ads. The, the internet is big enough for everybody. Yeah. We were, I, just, just we've, we've said this many times before, guys. You can't, I think nowadays with the amount of people you that are making videos avoid yeah. being live at yeah. the same time so as someone you as much take as we it would like to like never a, yeah we'd love to never bump in with anyone else's yeah. stream um, it's, it's gonna happen you now. should never bump streams you never bump streams. as ghostbusters <laughs> taught you don't um, bump yeah, streams. No, it's streams. don't cross streams. Don't cross your streams. It's not bump, is it? Yeah, don't bump for cross don't streams. Don't cross streams. And, and have, have we had another super chat from Tommy? Beck, you look fabulous, <laughs> and Z, well, he's Z. Hey, I think I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> I thought you were looking pretty good today when you picked me up from Thank work. you. I was Did like, you yeah, see me? he's I looking pretty good. I, I didn't give you a compliment, oh, okay. but I was like, yeah, yeah that's my husband. He's yeah. looking good. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> just, to, just, to, just to put it I out just, there. Yeah, just put that just out there. there. Also, guys, check out Beck's jumper. Do you want yeah. to just quick show, show, show the people? Not the really, because show I'm a them. bit fat. It's, you're not fat. Let me oh, see. Yeah. Just, just show them the jumper. Look at this okay. jumper. This is my jumper. 
She knitted that. Yeah. That was what she was. Oh, now she just dropped stuff. Yeah. Okay. That was what Rebecca was knitting for Christmas, and yeah. it looks amazing. It's like a spangly. And green. do you know what? Yeah. I actually finished it Christmas Eve. Eve. Yeah. Like, this is how long it's taken me to do a Christmas jumper. I started it October. Yes. And it yeah, didn't take you that long. You would have done it quicker. The problem but, with me yeah. is I put my knitting down, and then all of a sudden I go. Ah, I've got to finish my jumper. Exactly. And that's exactly what I did. Exactly. So. Th that's what I feel like. That's what I feel like yeah. as well. Um, now, we've also... Let's go into the chat and see what other people are saying as well. BCP has joined us. Jason Entwistle. DB Resource, which is Damien, has joined us as well. Uh, Fix It for Reselling. Bluegrass Picker. Chris Tyler. Ian Kimmins. Nordic Night Owl. And... Wow, Georgina Geo. Georgina has also super chatted. Thank you so much, Thank you, Georgina. Georgina. Um, that is really kind of you for the four ninety nine super chat. Uh, we do appreciate mm -hmm. it. Um, and Georgina actually has Stormzy. put Stormzy with with love. Is that love eye type yeah. things? Yeah, Stormzy. You know what? Do you know what? Wiley <laughs> Flow is just one of the best songs out in recent. It is such a good song. Yeah. Wiley Flow is just such a good song. And Stormzy I mean, is like oh, he's um, beast, isn't he? And he's from the Heath. He's from Heath. Yeah. In one of his videos, <laughs> in one of Stormzy's videos, he's actually filmed on in a Morley's where he's like crouched on top of the counter in a Morley's. That's yeah. legit. That's how you can tell properly. That's the Heath. That's the Heath. Yeah. Morley's, he was there. I just, oh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm in fact. And we can't even get Morley's. We now. can't even get Morley's, yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, Stormzy's not for everybody. Um, but no. But <laughs> <laughs> um, thought selling would stop for a few days, but even had sales on Christmas Day. Says so fix it for reselling. Oh, yeah, we did too, didn't we? Mm, yeah, it's, it, it definitely. I, I, sales have definitely kind of perked up a little bit. I think. Um, they seem like, yeah, it's been good. Like last couple of days have been really good for us, haven't they? Wouldn't mm -hmm. you say? Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, yeah, I would say. Um, Tracy and Tommy always in the live says Bluegrass Picker. Oh, they're legends, aren't they? they are. Dave says, off to see Star Wars, so I'll be leaving at some point. No worries. Thank oh, you for popping enjoy in. Enjoy your evening. Um, that's such a good song, but would need a lot of dolphin noises, says <laughs> Georgina. Um, yes. Um, South London Research has joined us as well. And Anomalous Data Point says, just off to the gym, but looks like I can now postpone it another hour. <laughs> you should not postpone the gym. No, okay? you should go to the gym. You should go. Listen, look, listen to me. You can tell my body is a temple. You can tell I... I <laughs> Say, the height... Saying that, the Fitbit is back out. <laughs> trying not, to get it charged. It's, my Fitbit stopped <laughs> working. I don't know... It, <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> Roy Foden says season's greetings. Hi, Roy. How are you? Thank Hi. you for popping in. Um, we have also gotten Joni Kramer. Hi, Joni. Thank you for popping in. A Stu says never cross your streams. Also, good advice when you're stood at the urinals <laughs> at the gents. Thank you, Stu. We we need to catch up with the chat. Um, yeah. Anyone get anything for Christmas worth selling on eBay? Says Chris Tyler. No, we we bought our gifts very good prices we did oh, yeah and we didn't actually buy each other anything we yet. don't no we, we we might buy ourselves something we might, yeah we we normally do this yeah. sometimes we'll just do like a joint gift and we'll just be like right we both want this yeah and then that that'll be it so yeah we she made that holy is. hell beautiful Bex and stuff. Oh, we're just catching up. Michelle says oh, ex excellent you. work. Um, yeah, she made it, guys. Bec yeah. yeah a gorgeous Beck. Well done, says DBG. Ah, oh, thanks, Leanne. Thank you. A um, couple of pickers says that's amazing, Beck. I love all things craft, and that is very impressive. It's yeah. really good. She's not showing you, but she's got all these like a little bit of like ribbing there. Yeah, and then, like, got the, ribbing down the She's got ribbing well. down the side. She's Which done, is look yeah. really perfect because, like, because it's a rib like on the the seams if you have put on a little bit of weight yeah <laughs> as i have done over this year um, it, it kind of it's it, it's a little bit more flexible it's a bit say? a little bit more flexible <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that's a good thing to know. Um, and DBG says the lack of metal heads in the reselling community makes me sad like Eeyore. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Stu says there's a few of us. Oh, there you go. You're not alone. No, you're not alone. Yeah. Um, body's a temple until you have kids, then it's a cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, hi, crony G crone. Um, thank you for everyone that's joined in so far. RJ as well. Peter Ray has popped in as well. Hi, Peter. Um, Marrakesh7 good time for indoor soccer it would be maybe Beck buys you some 
oil oh, for, for the, the car. car. <laughs> Richard Down says just you know, drops off my Christmas. He's, he's not getting near the car with oil. <laughs> We're going to take it to the garage next time he needs oil. No, I'm going to the garage, definitely. The garage, yeah, oil is the garage. I don't trust him yeah. with the car anymore and oil. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not happening. I either don't put enough in or any in. Or, or you put, put too much too in. Too much in. And yeah, so it's just not a healthy yeah. combination. So I, we'll just leave it to our lovely uh, mechanic. He's just such yeah. a nice guy. So, you know. He is. Um, and Richard Downs was just saying, just dropped off my Christmas Day sales at Hermes. Um, definitely got to do that. Got to keep on top of that. Um, Crony G crushes. I'm still not recovered. TBG. Yeah. Um, and BCP is just sharing some channel links, which is fantastic. RJ's channel link, oh. I think. And we've just had another super chat. Oh, thank you, Karen. Oh, thank you, Karen. The, Merry Christmas to you as well and the family. Thank you for the super chat. That's really kind of you, Karen. Um, are they not open tomorrow, Ian? I went down today and they were closed. Uh, it depends on the shops, really, yeah. doesn't it? It yeah. really does depend on the shops. A like, lot of yeah. our stuff was like back open today. Yeah. Like, um, I was back at work today in the surgery, and most people were like really surprised that we were open. And then when we, when it was like, oh, what time are you closing? And I was telling them what time we closed. They were like, really? I was like, yeah, it's back to normal. It's like it, we're not on holiday. We're we're like normal days again. Yeah. So, and they were like pretty, I mean like uh, I, pretty, I, um, I noticed that our Hermes shop was closed this evening yeah yeah but we had a UPS parcel to drop off which was fine because it was at a petrol station mm. and the rest of it was Royal Mail so we just was that yeah. was that like the news agents yeah 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 do you think they're closed now yeah they're closing for good yeah okay alright okay um, yeah. Nordic Night Owl says metal is awesome I like 80s metal a lot but also some new stuff by the way Nordic Night Owl we loved the sweets um, Nordic Night oh. Owl has joined us all the way from Finland we still got a bit he, of the chocolate he sent us a couple of he or she, is it who he or she is, she? is it, is it I, we, we've read the letter but I can't remember so that's really bad but the sweets were just amazing there's these little like yeah. round spheres that you can pull apart and they're just like they're like fancy jelly babies weren't yeah, they they were, really they were amazing nice. yeah we, we really, yeah really nice. we love the them chocolate, we've still got, a bit of the chocolate. We've still got some of the chocolate the chocolate was amazing i just want to say lisa um fen is in the chat and she's got i have new granddaughter called ruby she was born a week wow before. congratulations well, congratulations lisa, lisa. um that's sure. really awesome it must feel great to be a grandmother i guess is that is that cool? Is that cool? I, I feel, I'm sure you're happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> no reason not to be. So congratulations, Lisa. Um, and I'm sure you guys are going to be quite busy going forward, look, doing babysitting and stuff, because that's what you know grandparents are good for. I find <laughs> if you have them there, <laughs> when we don't have them there, you do miss them for that. <laughs> They're quite good for for babysitting purposes. Judas Priest is a great metal band. Um, I've heard of Judas Priest, but I never really heard any of their songs. Um, Kirsten's Curiosities has popped in. Hi, Kirsten. My family have disappeared. I need to round them up for charades. Lovely to see everyone survive Christmas. Happy New Year. Yes, Christmas was... It, we just sat and watched movies yeah. and ate. And, we, yeah. were, we watched one Star Wars movie and were yeah. slightly disappointed by it. But then we watched another and then we were like... Yeah, oh, which okay. one did we like? We liked Solo Adventure, whatever it was called. Solo Adventure. That's probably so, not what it's called. It's the, it was, the, the, it was... No, it was. Like, the the, the Han Solo, Han Solo Adventure. Episode, yeah. Like, so um, we liked that we didn't like the one which was she went up the mountain to to luke skywalker yeah we didn't one. like the yeah we didn't like the one where she found um mark hamill and like yeah. we didn't like that movie i didn't like that we thought one. it was an absolutely terrible movie yeah she didn't enjoy it <laughs> like the way we describe yeah. it the yeah. one where she went up the mountain yes yeah, the one where she went up the mountain just a rubbish <laughs> film honestly absolute yeah. tripe it almost put we're us a off a little bit behind yeah. with our star wars we liked movies. the first one with ray and yeah. and you know john and botega his name, his name is, is it finn. finn finn is it Finn yeah. and Ray, I really, I really liked that liked movie, that the first one. one where you see when you when they're introduced. Yeah. I can't remember the name of that either. But the, when you first see Kylo Ren, I thought that was a good movie. Yeah. But then it it kind of went. It could have been better if they hadn't made Kylo Ren yeah. like a choir boy. Um, and then the the, the 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 second one was just terrible. Um, oh, but, well, Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. It might well have that's been. That's probably yeah. yeah. That's probably yeah. that one. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Nord- <laughs> and Nordic Night Owl says, glad you like the sweets. Tastes can differ um, pretty much in different countries. Definitely Nordic Night Owl. They were just delicious. They were absolutely delicious. Thank you so much. Yep, she's my third grandchild. They're Aww. currently staying with me, says Lisa. There you go. See, b- babysitting happening. Um, all righty then. Um, do you two do any? Do you do? Uh, do you two do New Year's resolutions? No, we don't really. No, well, we don't keep them if we do. <laughs> yeah, we never keep them. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of don't do them now. But we we have said that we want to make some changes, but they've got to be changes that we kind of stick to. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but we're still yeah, we're not very good at those. Uh, and um, Barry says, just been to see the rise of Skywalker. Okay, well, is that good? Oh. I don't know. Um, and That's Rogue One, one we've not it? seen. We've not seen Rogue One. Pleasant Valley says Rogue One was pretty good. So we might. Yeah, ch- yeah. One, Rogue One's the one with the brunette haired girl. It's like you know they. It came out after the 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 one that we s- saw. Okay, are we watching them in the wrong order again? <laughs> yeah. Right, we, we watch. Right, we're going to go a little no, bit no, off no. topic. No, no, no. We right. saw... We saw... We saw the one where, where you first meet Kylo Ren. Yeah. And then Rogue One came out and we didn't see that. Oh, okay. Rogue One so doesn't have, have the Kylo same Ren. characters. Yeah, yeah, but do, yeah, but it doesn't have the same characters. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, right. So, this is what we've got a habit of doing at the yeah. moment, right? Yeah. So, we're, we're kind of, at the moment, catching up on um, movies that we've kind of missed... So the other night we sat down and we watched Logan. Logan was really <laughs> good. And then Logan, a couple of nights yeah. later we were like, oh, what should we watch now? So we sat down and watched Wolverine. Yeah. And Wolverine happens to be before Logan. Logan. And Logan was really good. Yeah. That was the one where it was really like violent, wasn't yeah. it? And, but yeah, it was yeah. just like, oh, okay, yeah. so we're just watching movies in the wrong order, are we? That's our thing at the moment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, Marrakesh says, hey, do you watch Indian Bollywood movies? I've not for a while, but I have yeah. watched some and there are some classics out there, like some some just amazing movies um but yeah i've not seen any recent ones not in the last 15 years ago or something um so it's been a while um when i gave up smoking four years ago i gave up on second as don't do new year's resolution says karen wow karen four years now that's pretty impressive that's impressive um yes i know i'm wearing a zeppelin t-shirt right now oh yeah led zeppelin i know rogue one is a spin-off I thought so. Rise of the Skywalker, according to Damien, is a solid 6 out of 10. Uh, okay. Um, Logan is crazy. Yeah, I loved Logan. Yeah. I thought it was a really good movie. Um, yeah, Logan was fantastic. It was really, it was just, it was how their others should have been. You can see they were let off the leash. And when we watched, when we watched Wolverine, it felt restricted again, didn't it? It didn't feel right. Um no Karen we've not seen John Wick yet no. and I really would love to see it I've, I've heard so many okay, good things about that's it one that we're gonna have to put yeah I want to watch then. John Wick I really want to watch John Wick um, newsflash someone who likes Stormzy's music slates a Star Wars film for being all <laughs> forces <laughs> but it was awful <laughs> it was and and Stormzy's music it's, an, it's not for everybody I can appreciate but, and, and do you know what we're, we're quite big fans of Star Wars well yeah. I am anyway yeah yeah. and yeah you didn't I, think much of that I didn't one. think much yeah. of it yeah, I exactly. really didn't exactly <laughs> I, I thought it was just ridiculously long for the sake of being long and yeah I like this review by um, Antique Curious. I have been watching The Witcher on Netflix. It's mildly okay. That's, <laughs> that's quite good. That's pretty good. I think that's a um, good review. Right. How about we now do a bit of um, what sold on, no, like what we picked up and how sales have been and stuff? Um, because we've been talking for like 20 minutes about movies and yeah. things we're just going to watch a lot of movies now we've decided this is what we do now yeah we've really enjoyed well, watching we've movies been doing, we've yeah we've been watching them a bit at the weekends yeah we? and, um, and now we're going to ramp it up you know our new year's resolution we're going to watch even more movies okay yeah that's our new year's resolution and i want to get a home cinema amp that's it We've Uh got speakers, we just need a home cinema ramp so that we can hook up a decent centre speaker and stuff. So that's what we're going to do. You know, that's what we're going to do. Now, um, Georgina says, I don't get to watch enough films and TV. uh, And 
anyone in the chat wants to see an unreal child reaction to Christmas, please view my video. Says Crony G Grown. My first and probably only upload. Crony G Crone, I'm sure people will pop over to yeah. see that. That sounds like it'll be fun. Can't wait for Mandalorian, says Dave. Is that with Baby Yoda and stuff? That's what I've heard. And Z, have I uh, have I have my I have my eye out for some switches we can drop on the CRV. <laughs> really? Um <laughs> South London reseller says, I tried to take my students to see the latest Star Wars film, but they all spare me. For... Wow, that's a bit... I hope they didn't actually that's spare you. A... Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a yeah. reaction, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'd hope so. Can we pick the movie you should watch? You know what, guys? I, this that, is a good idea. We could like do like a, a, a movie book club where you guys on a Friday give us like movie homework and we watch the movie that you suggest somehow. Right? I yeah. don't know how we. I don't know how we choose which movie to suggest. Can, but, can no, someone... We could do a poll. We can do a poll. Yeah. Or I was going to say, can yeah. they be within reason? Because we yeah. do watch the no, movies with our yeah. children. And no porn and stuff, <laughs> okay? So no porn movies. I'll put that out there. Uh, so, but yeah, you could you could suggest like a movie and then we can watch it and give you our honest review. Because yeah. obviously it's important to hear what we think about the movies, right? Yeah. Because, you know, we're all good at criticking and that <laughs> yeah and that. the one where she goes up a mountain yeah you know the one where she goes up a mountain the one where she goes up a mountain yeah it was, it, yes I've not watched Unresolved Georgina no right um, shall we movie re- but that would be really good so if people suggest like what movies we should watch then definitely that would yeah, be amazing we'll work out how we, we work this out yeah and then yeah, we can come back and like give fun. you a review um, anyway Karen is saying John Wick I think we should go with Karen's uh, John Wick I think I think we should watch John Wick. Okay. Um, I've we watched. I think I've seen The Shining. Um, um how old are our kids? Um, fourteen and, and 17. seventeen. But they don't like violent movies, like overly no. violent or overly. They're okay know, with Logan, yeah. though. Yeah, they're, they're okay with Logan, but they won't. They won't want to watch overly over like uh, you know like, affection like and stuff. Kill Bill is like a no no because of the violence. Is it? Yeah, they just yeah they. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had a suggestion, then you say no porn, geez. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Let's get on to some... Let's actually get on to some stuff that we've sold. Uh, like yeah. some graphs. Um, we'll, some graphs. Yeah, we'll do some on, graphs. Let's go with the we'll graphs. do some graphs. Um, now, sales have actually picked up a fair bit. Um, mm-hmm. We've had a £150 odd day yesterday, £150 odd pound day today. Um, it's not fully reflected in the sales, but it's what it is. Yeah. Um, sometimes uh, the sales don't show like that, but they've definitely picked up and we're feeling pretty good about them um mm-hmm. now this was obviously the week of christmas as well, um you know the, so you might see a little drop in sales and whatnot um but over the past seven days on the general store we we were just under Sorry. 500 pounds which is a bit mm-hmm. a bit like uh, a little bit low but there have been some strong days um you know uh, christmas so boxing day has been strong today's been strong so next week we should see a really hopefully decent set of figures but for the past seven days we're on 493 pounds over seven days with uh, 15 transactions an average selling price of 33 pounds that's what we're so that's that's still pretty good i'm still happy with that because we do want to kind of keep that kind of you know, at a good level. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that that that's so, definitely what. Particularly for yeah. the general store, we're we're happy with that. Yeah, I think so. I think that's been one of the things that we've been mm-hmm. really keen to kind of look out um, and and you know just work on. To be honest, because yeah. it's so easy to to end up just losing uh, the average selling price. And I think people that do keep a high average selling price, I think it's pretty amazing that they that they do that. Um, so you know, four hundred ninety three pounds, not amazing. It will do. Mm-hmm. Now, the next store is obviously the RC mm-hmm. store, and this has seen a, another slump, as it were. We only managed to do £200, so our total figures are just under £700 for seven days. But we've been talking a fair bit about mm-hmm. what we're going to do with the RC store, and we've not listed on it now. It's been months, I think. Yeah. It's been months since we've listed on this store. Um, so we're now looking to... Uh, refresh the store a bit um, actually get some more listings put on it uh, to see whether we can bring it back up because it does deserve to do better than it's doing and mm-hmm. um, I've got a feeling that because we've neglected it and we haven't done enough with it um, yeah I think well we were yeah. talking about it this yeah. morning um, so 
we can't remember the last time we listed on this store, which is absolutely terrible for people that, you know, apparently eBay is their business. Yeah. It's the, their income. So um, on the RC store, we need to kind of, you know, get back into it and and start deciding where we want to take it instead of neglecting it. Yeah, I think so. I think it's one of those things where, like, we can feel that we've got... Uh, it, it's got some life to it because mm-hmm. it still ticks away. Um, you know, we don't have days where we don't sell anything. Yeah. It ticks away. Uh, we're still getting transactions. It's just, you know, it's definitely being... Yeah. It's definitely we, hurting. We have yeah. definitely been thinking about doing like a end all listings on the RC store and kind of relist. Yeah. Um, still not 100% sure whether we're going to be doing that or not. Lean in. So, yeah, I like yeah. cleaning this way. I know you do. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, okay. I lean this way instead. Yeah, go on. Hi there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so it's something that we are not happy with where it is right now. Yeah. But know that we can change it and and you know. Yeah, I think I think there's. Work. I don't. Think just some regular been, listing will help it. I think we have not been as good as mm. looking after this store since. No concentrating on the general store and i think you've been really loving the general store because the rc store was kind of getting you a bit frustrated I, we've pretty much left but, the rc store i think to almost to rot and yeah i think we just need to get back and it, if we started regularly listing on it yeah then i feel that it would it would pick yeah. up um so yeah that's uh, that's how i feel because i think it would pick up um, uh, um yeah. karen's got a question question have you gone through your older listings ended them and relisted them not yet not it's all of them we've we're, started we're to definitely, yeah um yeah i did actually kind of, start to go through it but oh, have you started? yeah i started to I go through them you because you can started. filter with you know you can filter with it without a yeah. recent sale well i'll leave you to yeah. do all of so, that then so yeah <laughs> that's yeah. your job <laughs> But it's you can carry on doing that then. <laughs> but like, I've been really enjoying doing work on the general store. Um, it's been fun. I mean, like like I said, the sales have been. You know, we've had some really mm. decent sales. I, we, I'm not going to go through sales on this particular like stream because I, I was thinking we'll just do that in a separate video. Um, and then I'm not repeating like you know, oh, we sold this and then people might see it again. So, yeah. So we won't do it here. But we've had some really decent sales recently. Yeah. With the electronics and things that we've picked yeah. up, haven't we? So, so you're going to do a separate yeah. video? Yeah, we'll do a that. separate video. Good. So, so we've had, like I said, so just under £700, though. That's not too bad, though. So yeah. if you look at it, 500 200 yeah, £695 in seven days. That's yeah. not bad, bearing not in bad. mind it's Christmas week. Mm-hmm. You know, we haven't done any real work this week. Um, and we've just been outsourcing, uh, but we've not really been doing any listing. The RC store, we haven't listed on for months. So we'll take 700 <laughs> quid. So that's how we feel. Yeah. Kevin says, watch the human centipede. Nice family movie. No, that's no. not going to be in, <laughs> in the list. And neither is the dentist. Um, do you, um, And then what... Oh, Nick has popped in. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Uh, thanks for popping in. And Merry Christmas to you as well. Hope you had a good Christmas. Uh, we did. We're just going to be chilling now, I think, until, you know... Till the new year. Well, it's back to work. Well, really, no, isn't I'm it? back at work. Back now, at work so. now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all back to normal for me. It's all back. Beck had to go back today, but we did get to go to the bin, which is good. Yeah. That, n- moving on, that can take. That's like a segue. A segue. That's a Ooh. segue. Thanks for mentioning that because we did get to go to the bin today. So um, today was the first day back mm-hmm. since New Year's Eve. I guess was it New Year's Eve? Yeah, it was. Yeah, because we made a stream saying New Year's Eve at the bin. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve at the bin, yeah. New not, Year's not Eve. Not New Year's Eve. That's hasn't not, happened no, yet. No, exactly. Do, you, do yeah. you even know your holidays? Yeah, of course I do. I meant Christmas Eve. Whatever. I meant Christmas Eve, clearly. <laughs> right, so we Christmas Eve we went to the bins and then obviously we had to not go on Christmas Day, mm-hmm. which, is, which is fine, you know. Which was devastating. Which, no, it was fine. Clearly. And I didn't go, did I go on Boxing Day? Do you know what? I actually it's today ha- Boxing Day. No. Did, we didn't go on Boxing Day then either. No. So we had two days off of the bins. Right. That, and yeah. and can I just say, I actually had to ban him from YouTube because he wasn't actually going to go live on Christmas Day. Yeah, I was. I would have gone and live I on Christmas like, Day. And I was like, no. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. This is, this is no. family day. No I was eBay. Like, I'd no spent, YouTube. But I'd spent time with the family. I was like... Oh what? yeah, yeah. Your morning and afternoon was that was it. You were just like, yeah, I'm done now. <laughs> no, no, not like that. <laughs> anyway, right. 
So, yes. so we didn't go on Christmas Day. We didn't go on Boxing Day. We went today. And unfortunately, there wasn't much fresh stuff. They hadn't had a chance to, like, you know, what's it called? Refresh, refresh the stock. Refresh the stock. Refre- but we still... But, mm-hmm. but that was this morning. So when I dropped back off. When I went to pick her up, when checked again and they had refreshed the stock so we Mm -hmm. we did come away with a couple of things which we're going to share with you guys now there's only about six things to share so there's not a lot of items to share but there should be some good items um so going back into the chat we'll see dave says if you wear um if you wear bex top z you won't get spotted looking through the bins (laughs) um and have you seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Asked Michelle. No, but that's on no. our list to watch. That's on our list to watch. Um, and Damien says, my local charity shops were quite busy. I'm still getting used to them, having lots of people in them. Before I was full-time, I only went in them around five-ish when, when they were about to close. They can get quite busy. They really can. Um, and probably missed all the decent stuff then, Karen. What's Karen? What, I, I got parked literally just outside um i don't know oh georgina okay. and karen are talking oh, okay 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 um <laughs> boss said no that's right um <laughs> dave of course he needs to report to the management <laughs> <laughs> um you could have at least let him stream Fortnite. says kevin no <laughs> no, no. <laughs> georgina's got to have her dinner <laughs> Thanks for popping in, Julina. Do you know what? The rest yeah. of the year, I'm like pretty relaxed about, aren't I? Yeah. I don't tell you when, and no, no. like that you can't stream and no. you can't go on YouTube and stuff like that. Christmas Day, you know what? I wasn't was... going to go. Um, that's not what you were saying to me. Yeah, but you could have just said yeah, and then I would have been like, no, I wouldn't have gone. You could have been like, <laughs> whatever. You could have done would, it. Like... You would have just gone skipping and just gone like, da 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 da. Yeah, I'm going to stream. You would have done. You so would have done. Um, did you ever watch Ed TV? I know we talked about it a few months ago. I think I've seen it, Old School Picker. It sounds familiar. I know I've watched the the Truman Show, but I think I've seen Ed TV as well. I've got a feeling I've seen it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do think so. I might have to refresh myself, though. Um, now, let's get on with some stuff we found. So we've done a bit of research. So this is stuff we found today at the bins. After we got there, after someone had already been through the bins, mm-hmm. um, and I don't know, like this is. Oh, no, I'm not going to go into it really because it's it's you know it's personal, isn't it? What? You know, like people returning stuff, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. we're not going to go into yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to watch Get Out, but it looks a really scary. South London reseller. Oh, is that um, that? Yeah. yeah, I don't think I'm good for yeah. that. Yeah, that's the one where like. Um, yeah, it looks yeah, really good. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. not good with that. I know which one yeah, you mean. Yeah, it's really yeah, good. No. I've seen... Uh, yeah. I, I can't watch... And there's another one where there's that watch, family um, which looks like, you know, the, 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 the meat at the beach. Yeah, and... I can't watch, like, scary well, movies. Yeah. So horror movies and stuff like that, I really can't watch. Yeah. It just gives me nightmares. Okay. So I don't watch them. Okay. Right. Let's do some... Let's do some kind of what we picked up type sales things. Yeah. Right? Let's go. Um, It's been... God, we waffle way too much, honestly. Know, right? We do waffle too much. All right, so the first thing I want to share with you guys is I got another wrestling ring. I forgot to show you this. This is actually a pickup from... I can't remember. It was during the last week. I was going to say, I yeah. think this was like on the... But I forgot to share dining it. Dining might... table, like yeah. Christmas Eve. Yeah, I, made your I think it may have been Christmas Eve, but I, but mm. I forgot to share this. Um, and It's a wrestling ring for three pounds. But it also came with a bag of figures. Oh, um, cool. I, I didn't see yeah, the figures. Yeah, there's a whole bag of figures. Um, Can I'm I not, have it? Yeah, sure, sure. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if any of them are any good. I don't think they are. Because they're like... They're kind of Jack-specific ones, all of them. So there are a bunch of... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. There's, there's little ladders in here as well. There's a chair to hit the wrestlers with. You got some steps to hit the wrestlers with. Um, I like this chair. There's also a chair which has got like a face in it. Oops. Yeah, just drop that and that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's, there's a chair which has got like a face impression in it as well. So you know you, you can smash someone's face in. There you go. Look, you can. You see that? Yeah. I can yeah. See it. So. That was all for three pounds. There's a whole bunch of figures, really. Yeah. How many is there in total figures? Do you want to count them quickly? 
I'm just showing them. Yeah. There There's a whole bunch of them. Um. And, and yeah, them. just just ladders and all kinds of things. Yeah. So we paid three pounds for it. Um, I'm not sure what we can expect to get back, really. Um, I mean, it, it's difficult. It, it's really difficult to to judge um, what we can expect. There is someone that's trying to sell the exact same ring for twenty seven ninety nine. The best offer. They haven't got any watches. There's they haven't. Um, yeah. Twelve figures. Twelve figures. So we've got twelve figures. So and there's someone here trying to sell a ring for twenty quid with some figures. I'm not sure what we're going to get for it. I might just stick it on an auction. Um, looking at sold listings, it just comes up with a bunch of rings which have got like the steel cage, mm -hmm. and steel cage adds a lot of value. Um, you know, so <laughs> Jack's WWE wrestling ring. I don't know. It, it just not a lot comes up. So if I just maybe type in Jack's and not the 2007. Um, I don't know. Well, there you go. Someone got a good offer on on a bunch of stuff with some accessories. They took an offer of sixty pounds. Um, that was with eighteen wrestlers as well. So I don't know. We, yeah. we might just bundle it up. Then. I might just do an auction. I think bundle it and maybe auction yeah. it or something. Um, I don't know what we'd ask for it though. But I, I'm thinking I might just bundle it and do an auction. But we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't bad for three pounds. So that was our first pickup, anyway. So it's pretty basic, um, and you know, yeah, it go, it it works. Um, I have three Stone Cold Steve Austin says Bluegrass Picker. Um, you've hit the jackpot here, Bluegrass Picker says Michelle Lathan. How was everybody's Christmas? We slowed down to twenty plus orders a day on Christmas and boxing. Um, we didn't do too badly, but yeah. not, we don't do that many orders anyway. We don't Dennis. do that many yeah. orders. Only a handful, but, yeah. but we were pretty happy with... Um, not Christmas Day. Christmas Day, we only did about 50-odd pounds. Yeah. But Boxing Day and the day after have been pretty good. Um, I'm not playing with the wrestling set. They're not my favourite <laughs> type of figures. Um, Fix It For Reselling says, The steel cage I sold was the fourth one in that sold list, £120. That's oh, incredible. Wow. See, we, we don't have the cool bits. We've just got some ladders, we've got yeah. some chairs, and we've got about... Uh, how many figures? 12? 12. So, so I think it'll make a decent... 20, 30 really, quid? So. 30 quid, maybe? Something like that? Put it up at 30... We'll put it up at, like, £30 best offer, maybe. Have we still got all those wrestling belts as well? We do. I just want to get... Might bu bundle them all with it and stick, stick it at auction. It. Yeah. I might do it. that. Just do a massive, yeah. yeah might do that just because I'm just I'm done with it. All, yeah, yeah. I, can't, I can't. It also had in it this Darth Vader figure. Mm. Yeah, so I I can't really identify. It looks like it's from like the Clone Wars or something. Um, I don't know, but still, it's um, yeah. Yeah, it's a figure. Yeah, it's. I think it's a Clone Wars figure. I don't know. It's got like a that was in the package as well, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. It's just that's just separate i doubt it's worth much money anyway so we're, we're probably going to leave that as it is yeah. um and then we're going to get on to the other items that we have actually picked up um first one is this this is a majestic like varsity jacket for the new york yankees um it's a size large apparently although it looks quite small to me but it's a size large um, it does need a wash, so it will need to go through the wash because there's some marks on the arm there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. But it's yeah, pretty nice. See. It's got like an embroidered number three on the sleeve. It's got the New York Yankees logo there. Um, it's got New York Yankees embroidered on the front there. And then along here, it's got the MLB, Major League Baseball, and Majestic logos as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I paid £1.50 for this as usual for, for pretty much all the clothes that I buy. Um, and here is what we could possibly get. Um, those you have to ignore because I think they're different, but that's 29 That's, that's the really closest good. one I've seen. Yeah. So used um, in red and that, case, that sold for like £18 uh, plus shipping. So I'd be pretty happy with that. You can see that's pretty much identical except that it's got the, the only difference yeah, is it's got new york yankees on the sleeve yeah it's an xl but otherwise it's the same so okay. not from one pound 50 it's we can bad. get yeah 18 to 20 pounds i think i'd be pretty happy with that so there we go so that's the that is the first item of clothing um do you want to just shove that over on the other side honey 
Um, yeah. yeah. Um, Jennifer Hayes has popped into the chat. So hello. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer. How are you? And pigs can fly as well. Um, WWE Vader. Yeah, I don't think it's WWE Vader. <laughs> um, and Damien says, I found a Darth Vader toy last week in a charity shop. He was riding a motorcycle. It confused me. <laughs> Um, and DBG says when I was younger I might have to, I wanted to marry the undertaker I still wouldn't say no <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah it's, it's it's I don't know I don't know Darth Vader wrestling figure signature move the choke slam I hope yeah I don't think it is I, I think it's from the Clone Wars I can't identify it I'll have to look and see whether it is worth anything although it probably isn't I, I don't know I'm probably not going to bother yeah, listing it on its own unless it happens to be like really valuable do you know what I mean um so next item now this is quite interesting because they look really plain and boring don't they a pair of what are these black or navy blue I don't know they're black I think aren't they're they they're black black trousers um but the reason why they interested me was because the brand was 5.11 but it said tactical series and I th I've noticed that things which are like described as tactical can tend to, or, or technical and things like that can be worth some money and the material seemed really good like it had the branding on the button there it had a little tabs on on the pocket there which said 5.11 mm -hmm. as well so you know really plain trousers um, but definitely worth keeping an eye out for because even used um, someone here got 25 quid for a pair of the same trousers and they've described them as black military security police trousers and you can see they're the same same pants same same everything really really plain looking trousers and used they got 25 pounds for them so yeah pretty good pickup you're you? gonna give those to me because they smell they smell yeah. They smell musty. Yeah. They don't they smell need, like um, yeah. No, they yeah. need like a, a wash, a wash like, like, with, like a, a with, a, with a conditioner. Yeah. 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 They yeah. just smell a bit musty. They don't smell they, like. They're clean, yeah. but they just. They're clean. Yeah. I there's no they stains just kind on of them. Smell from like storage. Yeah. Or exactly. I don't know. Exactly. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I, I didn't even know of this brand, but the, the the material feels really good quality. And if you look really closely at it, it's hard to show. But can you see that, honey? It's got kind of like lines, like threads yeah. going across. So like, if I don't know if this will come across, but it might do actually. You you might be able to make out that there's threads which run across the material as well. Um, so it's you know the stitching is. You know, it, it's really rugged stuff. It's it feels like really a, rugged. I oh, know they're not going to be it? able to see because it's in the little. I wasn't even the right screen. Yeah. So it's kind of a little weave. Yeah, it's, of, yeah, that's it. It's got a weave going like a threads going across ways, which kind of stuck out to me, and I was I like, like oh, okay. The way you just give so, it stuff so, so, so twenty-five okay, pounds so anyway, plus so. shipping. Someone got five pound shipping. So from from one pound fifty to twenty-five, mm -hmm. I'll take that. Um, let's go back into the chat. Um, do, do, do. Uh, question for Beck from Andy Robinson will you be looking to build on what you already have next year in the business or will your time be taken up trying to stop Z making constant changes like this year <laughs> um, I think we're both guilty of making the constant changes uh, within our business um, so it's going to be trying to make sure we build on what we've yeah. got rather than making way too many changes but yeah. we are we are going to make some changes yeah um to anyone selling on etsy don't bother spending money on the advertising it's a total ripoff says rurium emporium and tommy says 5.11 tactical used to be huge here still sells good i didn't know i'd oh, never even okay. heard of them and they don't smell yellow tracy they don't smell at all <laughs> Uh, they, they've got like a musty smell. Musty smell, exactly. Yeah. Just uh, needs to freshen up. Exactly. Just keep an eye out on the trendsy. They are declining here pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be holding on to them for long. Um, I'll be you know, happy to take offers. I, I know that those sold for twenty five, but if someone offered me twenty fifteen, I don't know. I'd yeah. probably be open to that. We only paid one pound fifty. So. Yeah, we we are quite open to offers on. Yeah. The general store, aren't we? We want to so just move it. Yeah. Tend to accept reasonable offers. Exactly. Um, black tactical <laughs> pants for businessmen <laughs> going into combat. Yeah, maybe something like maybe. that. Um, next item. Now, this is this was kind of like a, a simple pickup, really. Again, it needs a wash because I think there's maybe a couple of marks on it. 
but it's anything which has got um, anything to do with motorsport tends to be a safe bet um, and I think this is no exception to that um, this is an M Sport kind of fleece uh, oh, fucking actually zip I don't even know if I can get this to zip properly I don't know see if you can get it to zip so yeah there you go. There we go. Yeah. So. I was trying to attach the fleece in it. There you go. So it's an M Sport fleece um, for Ford. Um, so it's a Ford uh, World Rally Team fleece. So it's got the Ford embroidered logo, the BP embroidered logo, BP logo on this side. Mm -hmm. And then it's got some. On the arm. Yeah. Some. Like. Teams on the arm. Yeah. Castrol, Karcher. BF Goodrich, uh, Recaro there, and on the back you've got a nice Ford logo as mm -hmm. well. So again, for one pound fifty, wasn't going to leave that. It's just like a fleece. It is a fleece. Yeah, it's just a fleece, a full zip fleece. Yeah. Um, I I wasn't able to find a, a, the exact same one, but someone had sold like a jacket of the same brand with the same layout, so exactly mm -hmm. the same kind of. You can see it's got all the logos in the same place and everything. Um, everything's the same, really. Ford Rally. The only difference is that this is, is a, like jacket. a jacket. Ours is a fleece. Is a fleece. Um, and they, they they took thirty five quid plus shipping for theirs, um, which I think is fair. Um, yeah. So I reckon we'd comfortably be looking, to be honest, around the twenty five thirty pound mark for something like that. Yeah. Um, again, we'd be open to offers if we needed to. Uh, but for that, for one pound fifty, I'm pretty happy with that. It's quite a simple um, pickup. Yes. Um, uh, anything I see like that is I'm always gonna grab that. Um, Lucy says bargain for one fifty. Z finds all the good stuff. The funny thing is, Lucy, uh, I go to this place and there's always um, another guy there that does the same thing, and he got through the bin before me. Hey there, bad biscuit has donated. <laughs> Lex has donated hey, Lex. two pounds. Question: Does Baby Yoda really like chalky milk? Um, I don't know, no Lex. Um, I would assume he would, because he's a baby, and chalky milk is nice. Yeah. Maybe he likes it with the chocolate straw. Milk, but drinks it with the chocolate straw. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. I don't know. That's what I would um, imagine. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I got there. We didn't get first dibs, because normally the bin comes out in the morning. Mm -hmm. This time it came out afterwards, and, like, I wasn't there. I mean, no. I don't know whether that... I mean, you were there first thing, but yeah. it wasn't I, until you come and picked me up. I don't up know whether he stayed there the whole afternoon. time or not to get the first dibs, because he was there. Yeah, he was. Um, so, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, I just we didn't get first dibs, but he he clearly didn't yeah. pick this up, and that's not even like the the best of the, of the pickups. Yeah. Um, there's some nice pickups to come still. And I just yeah. want to, um, because Karen's got a question there as well. How's um, question? How's room coping with both stores? Uh, so you keep buying quite a bit for the general store and some quite bulky. So room wise. We're okay, we're managing. It's a little bit cramped in here. Most of the stock is in here. We've only got like unlisted. Um, we might have to show you like how we've got it, but the unlisted stock is actually on the other side at the end of our living room. And it's stacked up in like um, plastic bins, I suppose. Um, but also like I think we're really, we're turning so, the bulky stuff over quick. Yeah. The bulky so, stuff. Yeah. not feeling it as much a yeah. lot of the electronics is actually coming and coming going in here and then yeah. it's going pretty quickly as well so it's not too bad coping with that all the rc stuff is like all along this kind of back wall here which is like really quite compact considering like the amount of stock we have on the rc yeah. store so that's working out well and then obviously you've got your photo bit behind us but yeah yeah so that's how we would feel. But it's, yeah. yeah, the unlisted stock is generally it, it's on mo that side. It's moving right. along quicker. It is. Um, and um, was it Barry says, I asked Yoda, he said, chalky milk I like. Mm. <laughs> chalky milk I like. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> I love <was> that you're Yoda. <laughs> Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. But hate won't, leads to suffering. But baby Yoda have a different mm. voice? Yeah. Or, was... Is he going to have the same voice? <laughs> it's interesting, actually. What would Baby Yoda's voice be? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> man. Fear leads to anger, man. Anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I think it's yeah. I, I feel we're doing pretty well with with the stock um, because we, the bulkier the stuff is, we are moving it along, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm we're considering different avenues of moving mm-hmm. it as well. So, for example, Facebook or even local auction, whatever. Yeah. If if we're in it for cheap enough, if we find that something's bulky or something, then. I don't know, maybe we, we will look to kind of just move things along. We don't want yeah. to just stick around. Yeah, we've yeah. been talking about how we kind of move our stock along um, because especially with like wanting to um, get back involved with the general store again, you know, the um, RC store again, it just means that our stock levels will end up going up even more um, because we still like to keep the general store, particularly for for you, like because it is good for you a very good you do impression you do a <laughs> meme you could do mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry uh, yeah uh, it, <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna start with this stupidness um my silly bro- uh, it's not a good impression but thank you I do appreciate oh, Karen, the thanks for joining us thank you for joining us Karen and thank you for the <clears> super <throat> chat I really do appreciate yeah. it maybe Beck can do the baby no <laughs> honestly right um, my voice is for like anything it always sounds like if you ever watched like the fairy is it the fairy godparents oh yeah Jorgen Jorgen all the accents that I ever try to do just sound like Jorgen yeah like Alf's voice is actually that Jorgen. voice <laughs> So when we when we when we do Alf's voice in the house, he's he's um. Zahir's so eyes are a dead giveaway. The house is stuffed with used goods. It is. Well, not well. This our stuff is used. Well, we we're pretty yeah. good. I think we. D- I mean, the front room doesn't look so bad now. We You've really shrunk it down. And, yeah. And um, I think Blitz, who is in the chat. Simon. Yeah. Is he, he in the chat? I don't know if he still is. Okay. He was at the start. Oh, okay. But um. He, Simon he Kate, came yeah. over to pick a, an item up. Yeah. Um, you won't say what it was. No, it was for it's for it was for a <clears throat> Christmas present. Yeah. Yeah. So um, and you know the front room, considering, well, he actually said he goes, I thought I was going to see stock all over the front room, and it was like, well, no, it's not. It's it's down there, and 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 you had had a good tidy up because I'd asked you to kind of move some of it for Christmas. So, yeah, it's um, yeah, it it's not as bad as it. It could have. It was worse. Yeah. It was worse. But also, we're looking at moving stuff along. I think that's the key because the RC stuff is very tidied away in general. Yeah, that's not the stock that kind of bothers us. It's the it's the clothes that come. It's the clothes that come in and pile up. Like Like, we've just got to be on top of the listing. We've We've got got a pile of clothes there, which you can't see, like right by the computer. Yeah. I've just stacked a bunch here because we're on the live chat. Yeah. But it's just like yeah this that, room is cramped yeah that bothers me because it's kind of like but you're not in this room very often no, so you're okay but okay i'm just gonna be quiet yeah. <laughs> you just don't have to complain about this room being cramped it, considering <laughs> the rest of the house is pretty clear yeah so you know it's no, a small but, price that, to pay no, but that's what i'm saying like yeah. considering in the living room it's yeah. like clear you can't apart complain. from like the unlisted boxes yeah, there. Which but is that minor. doesn't bother me because no, they're like stacked the, up exactly. and they're just like they're not in my way they're in a section of the room that we don't really use we cast it as dead space anyway because yeah. there's just nothing that goes on there so having a bit of stock there doesn't bother me there no so yeah so it's working okay so um right uh, uh <laughs> now bex has the voice Beck's voice is perfect for Baby Shark. I don't even know who Baby Shark is. No. Okay. All right. Um. Next item we want to share. Let's get on. We're, we're near the end of the pickups, so we've only got a couple of things to show you. Now, this is a fantastic pickup. Beck, do you want to share this pickup? Oh yeah, I'm I'm really happy, right? Because I I found this one. <laughs> yeah. Beck. Because, oh, yeah, like I said, we went. I went. I dropped Beck off to work this morning. Went to the bin and found nothing because they yeah. hadn't done any changeover, right? So there was nothing there. So when I went to pick her up. You're doing that thing again. Dude. I know, but I'm, just, I'm talking. I'm, I'm to like turning to you. Look at that. Look at that. Whatever. I was, I was looking at you because you were chatting. And, yeah. <laughs> and so we went again. And uh, when we picked, when I picked Beck up, we went again. And that's when we picked up this yeah. stuff. And Beck went through the ladies bin. Yeah. And you found. I found this. And it's um, a Hush um, jumper. And 
Um, the reason why it, I kind of liked it is because when I felt it, it felt really, really soft. And I was like, I've got to really check out soft. what this is made from. Really soft. And yeah. it's not a, a brand. I mean, Zahir doesn't check the ladies anyway. So when I'm with him, I do try and go through the ladies. I'm not that great at picking out brands and stuff like that. But I'm sure I've seen this brand on Insta. I think Fake Rachel has shown it. And I think probably a few others have shown it as well. Um, it's not something I would have picked up normally because I have got no clue. Um, but it's... Um, 54% baby alpaca and 46 nylon and I thought wow that's pretty soft so baby alpaca not just regular not, not just alpaca regular no no alpaca. no baby alpaca. baby alpaca yeah. she actually had to double check <laughs> I, was like, like, I was like you know because I've got a habit oh, of like adding <laughs> extras in right so I was like did I actually see baby alpaca Lex has just... asked another question <laughs> question what about chicky nuggies <laughs> Does Yoda know. like chicky nuggies? I don't know. Mm. Does he? I don't know. Um, crisp and delicious they are. Mm. I'm not sure I've yeah, seen that's Yoda it. eat. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, but it's super, super soft. And baby alpaca wool. I've never, I didn't even know. Or like, they, they can't even go for a regular alpaca. Baby alpaca yeah. wool. And it is, it, like, it, I can't. I don't know much about ladies' clothes, but if I'd felt this, I would have thought, wow, that yeah. is, it feels good quality. It really does. And yeah. again, it was £1.50. And this has actually got a th um, three colours on it. It's got grey, blue, and then it's got like yellow sleeves. And you said it was like a block colour. Mm. Um, and if I actually go over to a similar sold on eBay, an auction someone got for a, the same design actually the exact same design but different colorway mm -hmm. so instead of it being the color we had but again three colors but pink gray and then cream is that i think pink gray and cream yeah yeah, yeah. that fetched 32 pounds at auction mm -hmm. so that's really good um so you know 32 pounds at auction um, so I'm not sure what we should ask for it. We'll be going for buy it now. We'll be looking to turn it over. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should go for 40 with best offer. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? 40 f with best offer or? Yeah, I don't know. I don't I'd, know. I would have been happy with the 30. To be quite but that's 32 <laughs> at auction. So I'm uh, plus shipping. So 35. Yeah. So if we went for 40, and that's a size small. We've got a size XL. Is it a size XL or uh, L? A large. I size large. large. So we've got a large size as well. So we've got a better size. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got a nicer colorway. I'm not sure. What do you guys reckon? I but like... I think ours is a nicer colorway as well. So all that for £1.50 um, to get I was 40 happy. quid. Yeah, you should be happy. That was a really yeah. good pickup. That was a super. I'm only pick because up. I know you don't look through yeah. the ladies, so I was like, "Ha ha! No. See, yeah. I found something worth taking in the." Yeah, ladies. okay, I should look through the ladies. You know what I might do? I might start going through the ladies and just look for materials. Yeah. Because I know what good materials are. Yeah. Um, and I could just go by that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Start with that. Just start with materials. I know. I feel sorry for all the bald baby alpacas, says Stu. I know Stu. Like they couldn't just go for regular alpacas. They had to go for baby I know, alpacas. I know. <laughs> so yeah. Um, uh, going by Empire Strike Backs and Yoda going through Luke's rations. Yoda likes cheese and crackers. Says I think back. Sam. And hey Sam Jamie and Millionaire Militaria that's right yeah well. reselling Polly and Millionaire Militaria thank you for joining us appreciate it um, Sam says lovely jumper yeah Beck picked it for 150 um, we should be aiming for 40 with best offer I reckon okay well if it's sold for 32 at auction I don't know we can always go 35 if you want I don't know but it's a nice jumper yeah, I reckon I'm, we could do that I was pretty impressed yeah. um, was and then the and Ali the reseller just popped in as well hi Ali um, the final item I want to share with you guys that we picked up um, again from the bin again after the guy had been through it a guy had already been through it a regular like myself um, I saw this and I thought okay it's worth a punt for £1.50 and I'm really happy um, and this is a again pure new wool um, morning morning coat I think these are called aren't they hun? this is a morning coat I believe that's what you call these see okay like a coat with coat tails, you know, like they wear at weddings and stuff. Oh, okay. See, it's got like um, it's got like a like a single vent or something. Yeah. Oh, 
it's, it's hard to show. It, anyway, it's like a morning coat. It's hard to show you guys. Uh, I don't know. How would you button this thing up? Can you button this thing up? Mm, probably somehow. Yeah, there, there's the button slots. I can feel them there. Oh, it's going to be a long thing to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, I ain't doing that. Um, so, yeah. So, it's got... It's got like the vent. I just want to show the vent kind of thing. There you go. There you go. Can you see the vent? Yes, people can see the vent. So it's a morning coat. Man. Um, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so, so, so it, it's not like. A, it's not an amazing brand from what I can tell, but it's very nicely stitched and it's good quality and it says etiquette formal hire. So <laughs> the fact that this was originally a hire item, then that means, um, I don't know, like it would have been built to last, you know, like, and, and the, the, the tag stitching is really good. Um, all the seams and everything are really good. I looked at the inside of the tag here and it's a 38 long this is and it is a hundred percent wool. The lining is polyester um, and it's just a nice morning coat I guess. Um, so I again paid £1.50 for it and there's a big range of, of morning coats um, that are like that, that, have been, that have been sold um, and they go for different money. I mean, here's one that someone took an offer of 60. Here's one that someone took an offer at 65. 42 pounds for one here, morning coat, um, you know, with no actual um, brand there or anything. So definitely worth picking up. There's a Moss Bros one that was 35, um, 40 again. Um, so, you know, definitely something that is is worth picking up for one pound fifty. Um, so people sell them, ask for about fifty quid. Pure new wool, Peaky Blinders. There's a keyword <laughs> there for you. So it's just a, just like a, you know, it was just interesting find. I thought. Um, so I should do well um, with that. I think. Um, so yeah, I, I just feel that was a nice pickup. Yeah. I think anyway. So and I think that was the last of our clothing pickups. You went know, over there as well. Mm, no, not really. Well, yeah, you have to. Thank you. I'm going to have to because you're going to have to. Told me to. Yeah. But I think it's just because you want me to fold it. But no, I'm it's not because it it's not because I want you to fold it. Um, so yeah, I was just really pleased with that one. Um, okay, uh, so should go for one pound fifty. We should expect to get forty or fifty quid for it, I reckon. Um, and we've been over an hour already. Well, wow. let's go into the chat again. Um, do 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 do. Have you tested the Sansui gear yet, ZR South London reseller? No, I ha well I plugged it in and there was no life in the amp, but it, that could be a fuse or something. I've not really looked at it any further, um, so yeah, I don't know. Part of me is thinking, is it worth getting it repaired? Um, I've not looked at it. Like I said, I, mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's just a fuse issue. Because um, it could just be a dead fuse. Um, I haven't opened it up yet. Um, but I'm part of me is thinking, I, I got it for so little, I could actually put that in at a local auction house and people would know what it is, as long as it's got online mm. bidding. If that, is, if that went onto a local auction house, people would bid that up, definitely. Because it does have value. You, I mean, you can literally split this amp down into pieces and sell each individual knob and button and stuff um ali the reseller says like the coat very posh um yeah it's 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 really really um it is quite fancy it's all like a wedding thing top coat i think they're called too says knickknack okay um do 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 need a top hat and cane to go with the coat <laughs> um i love picking up men's plus sizes they fly out men are much less fussy too very true eaton harrow private school says fabian king maybe um, yeah, for the ve for the best selling clothing brands, check Ronnie Hart's mm -hmm. Hart's Picker Channel. Very true, Fritz. Fritz Sell is on the money there. That guy is a beast when it comes to clothing. Yeah. Um, all right. To do to do. I think that is it. Um, that's basically it. I think we've got nothing else to show you in terms of sales. I'm still trying to get my Fitbit to work, which is a bit gutting, but eh. mm -hmm. can't get it to function um i had a vcr with no power and replaced a 30p capacitor and just sold it for 40 quid says fix if it's selling that's the thing it, it, yeah. it will be worth 
part of me thinks it would be worth getting up uh, getting up and running because obviously the value would be that much greater um but i don't know it depends how i feel i mean i'm not in it for a lot of money i do obviously want to see it working but we'll see how it, yeah. how, how, how it goes um well i think that's all we've got time for because we've been talking for over an hour yes um don't really have much else um I did make a video on it, but it's quite simple. Might be the same with your amps as Fix It for Reselling. Oh, that would be worth checking out. Um, I'll pop over to your channel and have a look at that, actually. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to call it a night on that yeah. note, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the chat. <laughs> it was nice to be back. Um, it, doesn't feel, stuffy, it doesn't feel like we've been away for that long oh it feels either. like it's been away for ages for me oh well maybe for you <laughs> just, oh it's ah there we go that's what you were saying it's tonight back from burnout melissa will be on uniquely me tracy channel at 11 p.m uk time so only three hours to go see what did i tell you only three you. hours to go I definitely check that tonight. out guys yeah you've got to check that out um really do appreciate everyone popping in um yes. bear in mind three hours time uh go over to uniquely me's channel and um you know watch melissa mel back from burnout yes. talk to tracy should be a lot of fun they're both fantastic people um yeah i'm just like i, I, I don't know that's it. Like what? <laughs> that's it. I think we'll call it. That's, 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 you said that about three times. Is there anything it, else? It's, it's like, should we? Should we end this stream now? We should end the stream now. Yeah, okay, we guys. should. We've got, we've got nothing more to talk about. <laughs>